So Alpha pointed us in the direction of this individual and yeah, is trying to draw a crowd to this facsimile of Winnie the Pooh and sadly they don't have bear heads in Final Fantasy XIV. There are various animal heads that have been made available in the game but bears are not one of them yet. So I guess for whatever reason this person decided to go with the next best thing I guess in their mind and chose to do the pig head. So, uh, I don't know what you would call this thing, given that it's a pig and not a bear. Uh, I'll, I'll leave that to you. If you want to comment and say what you think this would be, um, what would this be named instead of Winnie the Pooh because it's a pig and not a bear, let me know in the comments because I'm really curious to find out. But, in the meantime, we have some work to do and, yeah, I know Alpha is really mesmerized and amazed, but we got to focus on something that's going on here in Razet Han that's a continuation of something we did before. And of course it involves the man of mystery himself, the inspector extraordinaire. So with that in mind, greetings people of the world, Mathiah Griffin back with you for the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker. So here in Razet Han we are going to continue with the Hildebrand mystery storyline. As well, we are also going to get access to our next opportunity to enhance our manful weapon. So, we'll go ahead and we'll leave Winnie here by himself, or whatever you want to call him in the comments, because Delian of the Thabnerian Truth, the science fiction conspiracy theory newspaper, wants to go and parlay more information about the mysterious alien that came into the Hildebrand storyline, the little blue thing known as Poo Poo. So, we'll see if we can't help him out and maybe give the uh, inspector a hand. So what do you say we go ahead and speak with Delian to take on our next quest for the Mandible storylines in Endwalker, entitled The Spectacle of Inspection. Delian is ready to embark on another crusade for the truth. Rika, what auspiciously, what suspiciously auspicious timing. I was just thinking of you and suddenly you appear. I seem to have that effect on a lot of people. As the rain begins to settle in here in Razet Han, as I'm sure you'll recall, Master Poo Poo claimed his purpose in coming to our world was to search for a missing comrade. Which is, of course, merely a cover for his true, for his true objective, laying the groundwork for a full-scale invasion. But I understand the skeptical masters will demand proof of this sinister operation. Thus did I decide to bide my time, keeping my eyes open, and let things play out. And no sooner had I resolved to do so, when I received word concerning the Inspector. It seems they made progress in tricking down our alien friends. Friend, this could be my chance. And I say, my chance, but I can hardly stand against this cosmic conspiracy alone. You are coming along, yes? I wouldn't dream of letting you investigate Poo Poo by yourself, or the truth will out. <laughs> the truth will out? Or something truth adjacent at the very least, but yeah. I'm coming along. Then let us be on our way. They were headed to Palakas Stand and we don't want to miss even the smallest development. And you be on your way there, Mr. Fancy Glasses. And we will join you there. So as the rain is driving down... Yeah, Nashu, well, don't you think it would have made sense to get an umbrella for yourself, the Inspector, and for Master Poo Poo? Kinda makes sense, I guess. Inspector, how are you? In this driving rain. My little associates, come to admire the spectacle of inspection, have you? As well you should. Look, Master Poo Poo, Rika has come to help! Hello there again. Thank you, Rika. You're too kind. What? No more poo pooing? Or you speak our language now? You don't know Echo or Universal Trader Slander what this required? Yeah. You have expanded your vocabulary. Much to my shock. It was no great chore to master your tongue. The grammar and syntax is relatively simplistic. Such a terrifying intellect. What hope do we have to prevail against it? <clears throat> so, how did you narrow down the search for this particular area exactly? Why well, much right than true Inspector Shinch, my dear fellow. All the perceptible and imperceptible signs point to me in this direction. 
although they did neglect to include a precise location. For that, we must rely on another tried and true inspecting technique. Interrogation. Spread out everyone and question the locals on any Koopo ship sightings. Alright. So away he goes, along with Nashu and Koopu. Yeah, we're all just gonna follow along. And apparently someone else is interested also. Across from the villagers of Palakas stand, so we have to find two people to speak with. Beginning over here with this crate inspector. A female aura. Oh yes, I spotted just this an odd little creature in the jungle on my way back from the city markets. Only it wasn't alone. It was in the company of a rather unusual gentleman. Sickly pale he was, and radiating an unpleasant smell. I felt obliged to keep my distance. Unpleasant smell, huh? That must be some smell. What was our other person of interest hiding over here? Turning out over with Murana and Kira today, this sack counter. Now that you mention it, I did see something like that in the west of the Shroud. Might have mistaken it for this world child if not for the way it moved. Sort of a furtive scamper. Creepy. Alright, back over to the inspector, now that we have what we need. And I have no idea what that minion is. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. As the inspector speaks with someone. So, having satisfied his curiosity, Rika, have your investigations borne fruit? Mine own carefully crafted queries place an individual of Master Cooper's proportions in the south of the shroud. Actually, I found out the same thing. To the west, your sources say. Oh, yeah, mine is different, though. I asked around, and there have been a few sightings in the jungle, somewhere to the north. Hmm. We have sightings to the north, south, and west, but that must mean... Master Poopo has more friends here than he realized. I am not that gregarious. I have precisely one friend on this world. Are the rest invaders or your enemies? Could be doppelgangers. No, no, too simple, too obvious. It's more likely the same alien wandering the jungle being spotted in different locations by different eyewitnesses. Which just means we need to, I can't believe I'm suggesting this, split up and search the whole area. A fair proposition. Very well then. Oh ho! Are we launching a search party? Oh hey there, Godbert. Yeah, he's still in Thabnir to do what he can with the Thabnir made of our weapons. Father, have you been following me? Nothing of the sort. I was engaging in feats of physicality while my mind grappled with the mysteries of Mandevillian weapon forging. Hope to turn perspiration into inspiration, as it were. But I'm afraid the burning fields' wooden men are poor muses when compared to the stimulus a worthy opponent provides. Have you found such a thing? Mayhap if I join you, and the indomitable Rika, in your endeavor, then happenstance will deliver the challenge I require. You are continuing the case of the Solid Correspondent, yes? Have you need an ex of an extra pair of eyes? As many as you can spare, I was about to assign teams to the search, as a matter of fact. This village sits in the shrouds east, so let us divvy up the remaining direction, shall we? Nashu and I will head south. Rika and Master Pupu to the west, if you please. DeLorean, you and my father at the north. That's Delian. Also, <laughs> the shr also the shroud of the Sangha is awfully big. How did it keep in contact, much less coordinate her efforts? I had special name calls made for just such an occasion. We can chat and read each other's ears as much as we like. Yeah, I'll take one from Nashu. Are you mad? The Charlians will listen in on everything we're saying. Uh, really? All the way out here? I don't think their hearing is that- I shouldn't think that their hearing is that good. But, seeing as you mistake Nick Will so much, look up I can hold on to one for your team. 
Yeah, there we go. Ming Po's what's tremendous foresight. Now, let us proceed with our investigation. Let's do it. So off we go our separate ways. Yeah, don't worry, I'll make sure that Master Poo Poo stays close to me. The inspector wishes us to search in the west of the jungle, yes. I will follow your lead. Poo Poo is now accompanying you. Yeah, since we are going out into the field, as it were, we should dress for combat in case things get out of hand. Don't worry, Poo Poo, I'll protect you as much as I can. And along the way, there are quest bubbles for us to go and look at. Starting with one over here, inconveniently located near this pajama. So we'll hop in and ask for Poo Poo to discuss the river. A river flowing right at our feet. Many stars have visited in the cosmos, but precious few have such a bounty of water as this one. Your home is a rare treasure. Well, thank you. That's very astute of you. So our intended destination is going to be over here. We have this vantage point to look at. Yeah, we talk, you're talking about the river, and of course, it's a heavy rain right now here in Thavnir. I see no trace of my comrade. But what are these black furred beings? Are they friends of yours, fellow people of Atheris? Yeah, he's referring to the Ufiti, a type of Sasquatch, by which I mean no, or vaguely sheep people, or perhaps, but not people, but not particularly friendly either. Yeah, not particularly friendly in any sense. There is a greater species here than I anticipated. I shall have to collect more samples. Let's keep moving. And so we shall. There's another quest bubble over here for us to look at. It's not often we get to do this in the rain, as it were, here in Thavnir. Of course, most of the time... We're having to worry about the final days. Allows Poo Poo to discuss the rocky outcrops here. The rock formations on this island remind me of my home star. They have the same vibrant hues, the same stark beauty. If only... <clears throat> but never mind that, we have a friend to find. And also an odd gun to avoid. We'll go around the other side. Oh, more than one. Yeah, we mean you no harm. We come in peace. <laughs> what is Poo Poo does? Yeah, break off your chase. There we go. Let's get over here. And you go back to where you came from. No sign of my friend here either. But these white furred individuals. They are surely one of your civilized races, yes? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of monkeys. Also not people, mind the poop throwing. <laughs> hmm, I find it difficult to tell the difference. One semi-intelligent life form is much the same as another. Well, never mind, moving on. Now we gotta go north. Yeah, we gotta dodge the monkeys still because we're still within the 10 level limits. Of course, if we try and thread through them, I'm pretty sure one of you will turn around. And yet, shockingly, one of you did not. Yeah, there's no more quest bubbles from this point forward, so let's go over to this area to check it out. As we're looking around here in the driving rain. Nothing. Not even a little burnt circle in the grass. As in a crop circle? The friend I'm looking for. We grew up together. We were always together. We even shared the same dream. To roam the great expanse of the cosmos. We worked hard and supported one another. Until we both had starships of our very own. Then the universe was ours to explore. How fleeting that feeling of triumph. And when we used to say that, 
Ah, uh, but that is another tale entirely. I simply wish to express how dear this friend is to me. Oh, we're getting called. Hello, is this thing on? This is Nashu. We may th we think we may have found Pupu's friend. Come to Purusa as quickly as you can. All set to go? Yes, let's take my starship. It's the fastest way. Starship? Is it able to be used? Were you able to get it repaired or something? Meanwhile, at Purusa... Yeah, it's gotten darker around here. Yeah, you two are gonna catch a cold in the worst way. Meanwhile, here comes Godbert. With Delian hanging on for dear life. Like, you couldn't have carried him in your arms or something? And perhaps you should have slowed down a little. I don't think Delian is as durable as you are. Yeah, meanwhile, something in the shadows. Hail, dear comrade of Master Pupu. We come and preach. Pray reveal yourself. If you can get through to it. Yeah, there is something. But it's not what we thought. Yeah, it's a Mandragora. Remember these things back from the wedding that went awry in Lanosea and Aurora Reborn? They're back. Wait, you, you're the Mandragoras. Ugh, I know that gentlemanly overlord's voice. Who goes there? With another Mandragora. Yeah, someone picked up the outfit from last year's Moonfire Fair. Another member of the Zombie Legion that we found at the start of the Hildebrand Mysteries all the way back in Arome Born. Master Zombie Brown. They said you were trapped in slumber, but I rejoice to see that is no longer the case. Oh, yeah, just out here, just casually. Gods, it's one of the walking dead! Yeah, get an axe or something. Greetings, friends. I am a proud member of the gentle dead men and disciple of Master Zombie Brand. And as for your friend... <laughs> And as for them... Yeah, they're coming. Hopefully not to beat us up. Don't worry, Edie's not here to threaten you anymore. <laughs> what brings you here to Thavnir and in the company of Lanosheus infamous vegetable menace, no less? Allow me some few precious moments of your lifespan to explain. It was a time when the maggots in my skull grew restless and wriggly. Tales of spoiled seedkin terrorizing the region of Bosia reached our undead fraternity. And so, on their behalf, I traveled afar to recruit her rotten Manjurgora. Which is this thing. Yeah, notice the, for the fork in its head used as, an as a hair accessory of sorts. After making his acquaintance, the festering fellow wished to introduce me to his brethren, who he assured me were no less rotten. Thus did I make next for Lanosea that I might extend a fetid hand in friendship. When I arrived, however, I learned that one of their companions had been abducted by a strange flying vessel. What was a gentle dead man to do but aid in the search? I turned to the Thavnerian truth, that reliable bastion of supernatural rumor-mongering, and, lo and behold, an alien craft matching the Seekin's description had been spotted here on this isle. Needless to say, we embarked on our journey forthwith. <laughs> Look how happy he is. Ah, one of our faithful readers. I am pleased to see that even in undeath, the hunger for truth is not wholly subsumed by the hunger for brains. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Should we find ourselves on the case of the misappropriated Manjagora, the subductor will not evade my powers of discernment. Soon we'll need a case to carry all these cases. 
Seems that way. <laughs> so what's on your mind, Dalian? An abductor. I have a feeling we won't need to look far. And in the meantime... Yeah, I guess I'm too big to fit in the spacecraft, or I, my Dragoon armor could be too pokey for Poo Poo. And so, the next day... Ah, uh, that may have been me. And off goes his spaceship. Yeah, there's what the Mandragoras were looking for. Because, yeah, there were only four of them, so there's the fifth. And look how happy they all are. The whole family's been reunited. Forgive me for taking your friend. In my sample collecting frenzy, I must have mistaken him for an edible plant of some kind. Understandable. You will not be the first to confuse a mandragora with a salad ingredient. The main thing is that he has returned to us unharmed and uneaten. Ah, uh, well, well, that ends well. Now, if you'll excuse us, we should be getting back to Tha Thanalan. Rotting flesh and humidity is an unpleasant combination. Well, at least they got the appropriate shade hat for the occasion, I guess. And so away they go. Yeah, you got a lot to take in there, Master Poo Poo. And in the meantime... My apologies, Master Poo Poo. We seem to have missed the mark this time, but I swear to you I shall not rest until you are reunited with your comrade. I almost believed your keen inspector sensed to be a form of prognostication, but it was really just following your gut, and I'm afraid vague inspectorial feelings will only take us so far. We have an entire world to search, and for that we need, oh, I don't know, a veritable army of inspectors. An army of inspectors. Of course, I can simply clone a multitude of Hildebrands as I did before. Yeah, you might remember we that had that happen previously. Oh, no, no, let's not do anything rush. I mean, we can certainly get a search team, right? Or maybe not. Yeah, Hildebrand's like, I'm having none of this, but... Sorry, dude, you're stuck. Yeah, how come you couldn't carry me in the flying saucer? Was my Dragoon armor really that pointy? Whoa. Yeah, something definitely got popped out. So I guess now we wait for the clones to arrive? Oh dear, the ship's matter duplication facility has been temperamental for a while, and now it's broken down completely. This clone is the last it will ever produce. So that's it. <laughs> yeah, look how sad we are. But as we look up, yeah, we saw something did get spit out, so I guess that must be the clone? Yeah, there it is, perched on top. Yeah, look how it poses like Inspector Hildebrand, but <laughs> seems to have a hard time keeping its balance. Ah. Damn. That's a lot of pain and... Oh, oh boy. Now everything's falling apart because this clone is a klutz. Yeah. Rip. Hildebrand, what were you thinking? Well, the other one is flat on his back. Maybe that's the clone? Or maybe not. Because, yeah, that would have been a waste of a clone, but what the heck is this?
Yeah, this does not look right. I mean, Master Poo Poo, what the heck have you done? Yeah, you somehow made Hildebrand go 8-bit in a three-dimensional setting. And the shotgun Zalian's face pretty much says it all. Looking around. Yeah, he can't quite pose like the inspector. But he still has that grin. Even if he can't keep his balance. My name. My name is Brandy Hill. Inspector Brandy Hill? Why is he so blocky? I wish I knew. The cloning process has the failed part ways to allow me to uh, euthanize this abnormality. Was, yeah, we might need to, but... But what? Do, is that really necessary? Now, now, let's not do anything rash. Yeah, he seems to like himself being an 8-bit. Unlike my former replicas, this one is highly unlikely to be mistaken for me. And seeing as how we're looking for extra helpers, I say we press this on to find fellow inter-service. Welcome to the team, Inspector Brandehild. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> Look how happy Nashu is. Zalian doesn't know what to make of it. Of course, they pose as they do. And yeah, Godbird is still insanely amped and Evan strong. Yeah, allow me to carry this insanely large chunk of stone. Yeah, that's that's in absolutely insane. And so later that night, Inspector, we made quite a mess of that temple ruin, but thanks to Father, it looks as good as new, or would be as good as old. And any event. I look forward to tackling the remainder of the case with my charming new contemporary. Yeah, somehow, Godbert's insane strength restored the structures over here. Yeah, there they are, back to normal. I am delighted to be a part of it. Oh, look how shy he is. He is really very charming. <laughs> well, certainly that seems to be the case, so we'll take our 1,518 gil for completing this first quest. Thank you.